Health experts say wearing masks, testing, and contract tracing are essential in the battle against the coronavirus and fully reopen the American economy. One expert with decades on the job says we need to do better to fix the testing lag time. News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink live tonight at the Pima County Health Department with the rest of our story. Eric. John, Will Humble has been a public health expert here for more than 30 years. He says one key to helping stop the spread of the coronavirus here in Arizona is to make sure we speed up the testing turnaround time. He says that has to improve. As Arizona surpasses 138,000 confirmed COVID-19 cases, Will Humble, who led the State Department of Health for six years until 2015, says the testing timeline has to be better. Humble says on average, people are waiting more than eight days to get results, making contact tracing very difficult. Besides face mask wearing, testing and prompt contact tracing and isolation along with quarantine is the single most important return on investment activity that we have you know, until we get the vaccine. So it's a really important part of the response, but it's only useful data to the county health departments if it comes in fast. Humble says the standard practice is to test a sample within six days, keeping it refrigerated. But if it goes on longer, Humble says the sample could degrade and it could produce false negatives. He says it's vital to start consistently tracking the turnaround time on testing. Unless you measure it and unless it's transparent, it's really hard to hold anybody accountable and it's less likely to actually happen. So we need that metric up on the dashboard. Yes. And back out here live, new data released today from Johns Hopkins University shows Arizona has the worst COVID-19 death rate per capita in our nation. More on this story coming up tonight at 10 o'clock. We've got you covered. We're live from the Pima County Health Department on the south side this evening. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.